Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Dan and today we are going to be talking about the first Bull and Ted film, Bull and Ted's Excellent Adventure. So the third film is coming out on the 28th of August. Um, so I'm really, really excited about that. But I was like, I haven't reviewed the first two films on this channel yet. And I, I haven't even seen the second one. I'm going to watch the second one tonight. I've only seen the first one. So I'm really excited to watch the second one later on today. Um, but I did want to rewatch the first one for this video as well. So I did that yesterday. So I'm really excited to be talking about Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Let's get straight into it. So Bill, Alex Winter and Ted, Keanu Reeves are high school buddies and they essentially are wanting to start this band but the only thing is if they fail their history class Ted is going to be sent to military camp which is obviously not ideal for their friendship or for the band so what ends up happening is they from a friend of theirs called Rufus borrow a time machine and essentially grab the figures from the past to help them pass history that's the story and it's pretty epic so I would say this film is definitely a lot of fun. It, it knows what it wants to be. It doesn't take itself too seriously. And it is just a really, really fun film. So obviously throughout the film, they're grabbing various figures of history and bringing them back to the present day or the present day, 1989. And um, it was really fun seeing these characters and these figures of history interact with present day situ situations and scenarios. So I really did enjoy that aspect um, as well. And, and of course, Alex Winter and Keanu Reeves have just great on-screen chemistry. And you can just tell that these actors are having so much fun in these roles playing these complete goofballs but at the same time just being really passionate about that as well and um, I just really did enjoy these characters and I'm really excited to see how their characters develop in the second and third form I'm pretty sure it's gonna get quite crazy but um, I really did enjoy seeing that friendship develop throughout the film you can see that these friends really do care about each other um, and they, they do they are invested in each other as well so it was, that, that was great and I really did enjoy that friendship dynamic throughout the film. I also just really enjoy the way they speak as characters Bill and Ted um, obviously the vocabulary and dialogue is something you probably don't hear often today in, in present time but um, I, did, I do just really enjoy like the whole like dude and like gnarly and cool and most excellent and just all their, their lingo and their, their dialogue with each other I thought that was epic. I mean at the end of the day Bill and Ted are complete goofballs and to to put them in a scenario where they are having to go take figures of history from their, their current location and bring them to present day is really amusing and it's a lot of fun to watch and as I said I really did enjoy seeing these figures from the past interact with more present day scenarios and situations and sure some of the time travel stuff doesn't necessarily make sense in this film like there's this one scene in particular where they are trying to get a pair of keys and they sort of vocalize that they were at that place at that time and then the keys just magically appear there because they sort of plan to be there in the future to put the keys there in the past if that makes sense after the report will time travel back to two days ago steal your dad's keys and leave them here where i don't know how about behind that sign that way, when we get here now, they'll be waiting for us. See? So it's, like it's, it's fun and it works in the context of the film, but if you are like super strict with your time travel rules and films, that is gonna be an issue for you. But don't go into that film expecting this like mind-blowing time travel film. The time travel is fun and it is used in a fun way in the movie. But it's definitely not like dark level time travel stuff. So yeah, <laughs> just gonna say that and get that out there. So besides some of the jokes that didn't necessarily work for me, this film is a great time. It is a really, really good time. And I really did enjoy re-watching the second time as well. And it still holds up. I think it's a great film and I do highly recommend watching it, especially if you love Keanu Reeves, man. Keanu Reeves is so young in this film and he, he's just having such a good time from the looks of things. So I highly recommend it for Keanu Reeves as well. I'm gonna give this film a four out of five. I think it deserves that. Sure, some of the stuff doesn't really make sense in the film and some of the jokes are a little dated, I would say. But besides that, I think it's a really great time and I highly recommend checking it out. Guys, I will be reviewing the second Bull and Ted film tomorrow on this channel. So subscribe if you're keen for that and press the bell icon if you're keen for that as well. But no pressure only if you want to and then also I'm, I'm most likely going to be reviewing Tenant on Friday which is really really exciting and I'm super pumped up for that and then I'm also going to try I don't know how the VOD is going to work in this country because I'm in South Africa but I'm going to really try and get hold of the third Bull and Ted film I've planned to watch it so even if I have to watch it through a VPN or something I'm going to make a plan to check it out so if you are keen for Tenant and Bull and Ted 3 as well consider subscribing cool 
awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have the most excellent day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.